Hey guys, today we are going to look at multiplication and division with scientific notation. We're going to answer the question, how do I multiply and divide numbers in scientific notation? First, let's review scientific notation. So scientific notation is just a compact way to write very large or very small numbers. So this first number right here has to be between 1 and 10, and we call this the coefficient. And then it's always times 10, and then our exponent is a whole number. So let's practice converting to scientific notation. So the first thing that I need to do is change this number to a decimal between one and 10. So my decimal is right here, and then if I move it right here, 7.6 is between one and 10. And then it's always times 10, and since this was a large number, it's gonna have a positive exponent, and I'm gonna count how many times I moved, one, two, three, four, there's our exponent. This second problem is different since it is smaller than one. So that means I'm gonna have a negative exponent, but the process is still the same. I want to make this a number between one and 10. So I'm gonna move my decimal right here behind the three, and then it's gonna be three times 10, a negative exponent since it's less than one, and then let's count how many times we moved. One, two, three. Okay, next one, this is a large number, so I'll have a positive exponent. First thing I need to do is make this number between one and 10, so I'm gonna move the decimal point right here from the end. So it's going to be 9.05 times 10, and then let's count how many times I moved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then this one is a small number, so I'll have a negative exponent. Same process, I need to make a number between one and 10. So if I move it right here, 5.02 is between one and 10 times 10, the negative exponent since it's small, and let's count how many times we moved. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's review converting to standard form. So since I have a positive exponent, that means this is a large number. And to make this larger, I'm gonna move the decimal to the right. And remember the exponent tells us how many times we move it to the right. So I'm gonna move it to the right one, two, three, four times. So that means I'm gonna to have to add two zeros. So it's going to be three, four, seven, zero, zero, and then I'll put a comma right there. So 34,700 is equivalent. Okay, number six, I have another positive exponent, so I move to the right to make it bigger. So I'm gonna to move to the right one, two, three, four, five, six times, and it looks like I'll have to add one, two, three, four zeros. So it'll be nine, zero, one, one, two, three, four. And there's the commas. So nine million, 10,000 is equivalent. Okay, number seven, I have a negative exponent, so I'm going to make this number smaller by moving the decimal to the left three times. So I'm gonna move it to the left, one, two, three. So I'm gonna have my decimal point, and then two zeros, and then five, one, two. Okay, and then another negative exponent, so that I need to make this smaller by moving the decimal to the left one, two, three, four, five times. So I'll have to add one, two, three, four zeros. So point one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven. Okay, so that is a quick review of scientific notation. Now we are gonna talk about multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation. So you're gonna follow these steps. So you're gonna multiply the coefficients. So those number, multiply or divide the coefficients. So the first numbers, you'll just multiply or divide them like normal. Then for the exponents, the 10 with the exponent, you will use the product or quotient rule depending on if we are multiplying or dividing. If you use the product rule, then that means you are going to add the exponents. And if you use the quotient rule, that means you're gonna subtract the exponents. And that's how you get the number. Then we just have to make sure that that final answer is in correct scientific notation. Your coefficient needs to be between one and 10. If that coefficient is not between one and 10, we can use this acronym LARS to help us remember how to change it. Left add, right subtract. 
you will shift the decimal to the left or right, depending on how to make it between one and 10, and then you will change the exponent with addition or subtraction if needed. Uh, let me pull up my calculator since we're gonna be multiplying and dividing decimals. I'm gonna let it do that work for me. So let's look at number one. I am going to multiply two times 2.7 times 1.8. So we'll do 2.7 times 1.8. And then we will do 10 to the fourth times 10 to the seventh, which will be 10 to the four plus seven. So let's start with that decimal. 2.7 times 1.8 is 4.86. And then it'll be times 10 and 4 plus 7 is 11. So this answer here in scientific notation is 4.86 times 10 to the 11th. Okay, let's do the same thing on number 2. I'm going to do the coefficients multiplied together. 1.5 times 2.7 is 4.05. And then it'll be times 10, and then we do 10 to the eighth times 10 to the negative second. And eight plus negative second plus negative two is six. So 4.05 times 10 to the sixth. Okay, number three, I'm going to multiply my coefficients. Eight to, or 3.9 times 8.6. is 33.54. And then 10 to the third, 10 to the negative third times 10 to the ninth, negative three plus nine is six. So this is gonna be 10 to the sixth. So this is not in proper scientific notation because this number is not between one and 10. Your coefficient has to be between one and 10. So I'm going to move my decimal to the left and I'm going to make it 3.354. And since I moved left, add, right subtract since i moved to the left that means i'm going to add to my exponent which makes sense because if i want to keep equivalency i made this number smaller so i need to make this one bigger by adding to the exponent so i moved left and i'm going to add to the exponent and make it 10 to the seventh so there is the correct number in scientific notation okay <clears throat> number four let's multiply our coefficients 9.7 times 6.1 and I get 59.17. And then 10 to the negative 33 times 10 to the 37th, negative 33 plus 37 is 10 to the fourth. Okay, this is not in proper scientific notation since this number is not between one and 10. So I'm going to have to move the decimal to the left, which means I add to my exponent. So it's going to be 5.917 times 10 to the fifth. All right, that was the multiplication. We added our exponents there. Now we're gonna look at some division problems. We're gonna divide the coefficients and then this time we will subtract the exponents because of the quotient rule. So let's start with number five. I'm going to do 7.68 divided by 2.4. And I get 3.2. And then 10 to the 12th divided by 10 to the 8th. I subtract those exponents and I get 10 to the 4th. Okay, number six, let's do 12.6 divided by 1.05. I get 12. And then 10 to the 15th divided by 10 to the 9th. That would be 10 to the 15 minus negative nine or 10 to the 15 plus nine, which is 10 to the 24th. 
So this is not in proper scientific notation because this number is not between one and 10, 12 is bigger. So my decimal is here, I'm gonna move it to the left one, which means I need to add one to my exponent according to Lars. So it'd be 1.2 times 10 to the 25th. All right, number seven. I'm going to divide my coefficients. So 1.4 divided by five is 0 0.28. And then 10 to the seventh divided by 10 to the second, seven minus two is five. So times 10 to the five. So this is not improper scientific notation since this number is smaller than one. So according to Lars, I'm gonna move it right. So that means I will subtract from the exponent. So it'll be 2.8 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, and last one, 2.8 divided by four, I get 0 0.7 times 10 to the nine minus negative four is the same thing as nine plus four, so 13. So times 10 to the 13th. Okay, and this is not improper scientific notation because 0 0.7 is smaller than one. So according to Lars, if I move my decimal right, I'm going to need to subtract from my exponents. So scientific notation will be seven times 10 to the 12th. 